So let's say that we have all of this happening in contact. Um, I'm going to make some quick changes here and I'm going to change my output. You don't really have to do this, but I'm just trying to get out ahead of something that I anticipate. So I'm going to make that 11 and I'm going to make this one 12. I'm not going to have to, I'm not going to change my MIDI channels. So contact plug in. Hey, where am I? Oh, I get it. Let's just do nine and 10. So it's all separated again. All right, so I've separated the bass and the keys. We're still using one contact. I want to separate my drums, all right? I still want to have control over my kick, my snare, my hi-hats. Um, what's really interesting about Drum Lab and some of these other libraries I'm going to do some quick videos for is that it also, besides the kick, well, besides the drums themselves you actually have overheads in stereo in mono and a room um, and then you have reverb and these are all actually going out the outputs and can be separated so what I'm gonna do is click on the kick and you see this kind of arrow down here that gives us the ability to start redirecting these things now remember um, output one is always the main anyways, but I'm just kind of doing that to wrap my head. I already said output one for the entire drum lab. I'm going to go to the snare drum. So actually, let me, let me think this through for a second. I have kick, I have snare. I'm counting on my fingers, by the way. I have hi-hat, I have overheads in stereo, a mono and a mono room, and then reverb. So I have a total of seven tracks. I need, for the demo at least, I need six tracks. Six more. Stereo instrument tracks. I'm gonna change this to kick, snare, hi-hat, ho-hat, hi-hat. Um, Overheads, stereo, overhead mono, room, mono, and reverb. Did I make a mistake again? Nope. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself uh, thinking this one through right now. So my snare is going to be plug in contact channel two. You can see that looking at it, 9 and 10 are already used, so I'm just going to kind of keep going here. 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. All right. Um, I'm going to mute these because I'd like to kind of hopefully get this right and kind of break things down. So back to this part, the snare is going to go out output number two, right? Hi hat, click on it, arrow three, just double checking here. This overhead stereo overhead four mono five, mono room six and the reverb actually i'm just turning it off I'm not sending that anywhere i don't know if you can i don't want the reverb from here i want i'd like to put reverb on myself all right so theoretically i should only hear the kick drum
Now I'm going to hear the snare drum. Yes. <laughs> All right, so here you don't need to change the MIDI output selector because we're only using these tracks for their inputs and for their outputs, but for their separation. So literally, this is moving audio signal. We're not really doing anything with MIDI. Now I could go ahead and say communicate with channel one, but there's no MIDI data, so there is no communication. Um, now, if I had another track like this, for example, the bass, if I said communicate on MIDI channel two, there's still no MIDI data, so it doesn't really matter. All right, um, let's bring in the hi-hat. bring in the overhead all right so you can hear there's a little bit of everything in there the mono and the room all right so now we have our drums separated we have bass and keys all coming out of one contact instrument <laughs> There is separating drums in Drum Lab.